Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Institute. Um, for this particular lesson, we're going to talk about how if I have two wires that each have electric current passing through it, so current carrying wires, wires, um, how they're going to feel force on each other. So in this particular example, there's a repulsion because of what I have, and I'll see if I can draw this. I have current flowing through this particular wire in this particular direction, and current flowing through this wire in this direction. So they're actually in opposite directions. So here's I2, and here is I1. And because of that, they would actually feel forces that would be in the opposite direction. So this is gonna be pushed away, and this is gonna be pushed away. And the reason for that is if I follow the right hand rule on each one, I know that um, following the right hand rule, the second right hand rule for this particular wire, that if I pass it down, I would actually have a magnetic field that would go around it, but curve in this direction. So it would be going counterclockwise around this. And so by the time it comes all the way over to the other wire, you would actually have a magnetic field that would be acting upward on this. Then if you switch over to the first right-hand rule, then we know that if there is a magnetic field that's acting upward and the current is moving towards the back of the page or into the page, then the force would be to the left. So if I use my second right hand rule and I have my index finger, I don't know if I can draw this, but if I have my index finger pointed this way and um, my middle finger is actually pointed, so I have my index finger that way and then I have my middle finger pointed upward and then these are the, the rest of my knuckles, then my thumb would point in this direction. So this is the direction of the current going that way. And this is the direction of the magnetic, whoops, this is the direction of the magnetic field. I'm drawing that red. And then the force here, I'm gonna draw in blue, would be in this direction. So it shows us what's actually happening. So what I have is I have two situations. We have one equation, which finds the force acting that it's equal to I L B sine theta, where I'm dealing with both the current having a direction and the magnetic field having a direction. And it would also be dependent on how long that other wire is, how much length we actually are dealing with. And then remember this sine theta is the angle between my current and my magnetic field. In this particular case, we're just dealing with a current and a magnetic field that happen to be perpendicular to each other um, because we have parallel wires. So these wires are parallel to each other. Wires. Um, the second part of this is we also, we have this magnetic field right here. The magnetic field is being created by the wire itself. And so that equation is the fact that it is the permeability of free space times the current through the wire over two pi r, where r is how far away you are. So r would actually be the distance. So I'm gonna draw this in kind of a maroon color. It's the distance from here over to there. So this would be r, the distance between these two wires. So the idea, these two different currents one of them, this would be the, this one. So it would be the current through wire number two. So I'm gonna put a little two on here to indicate that current. The other one, this particular current would actually be the current through wire number one because it's producing the actual magnetic field. So you have the magnetic field being produced by the first one. One of the things that's kind of neat about this equation though, or one of the things kind of neat about this, and I know this is getting to be a big mess, is wire one would feel the same force just in the opposite direction. Because what we would find is we would end up with 
an equal opposite force. We have Newton's, thir Newton's third law acting on this particular situation. But if this is happening when we have the currents flowing in opposite directions, if we actually have the currents both flowing in the same direction, so if you notice this second situation, we have the current flowing this way, and this one also has the current flowing this way, so the current through number one and the current through number two are both flowing in the same direction, you would actually find that these two wires would be attracted to each other. So we actually have an attraction for these two materials because the forces are going to act toward each other. And the reason for that is now if I have this one, the magnetic field is acting upward, but because of the direction of the current, the fact that the current is the opposite way through wire number two over here, then it's actually going to cause a force that would act to the left. So this is just kind of a neat idea. We're using both of these equations. We have our force equation, the force um, between on a current carrying wire, and then we also have our magnetic field down here due to that. So this is going to end this edition of the Institute. We're eventually going to try out some actual problems. I'm going to have one more set of little multiple choice questions that kind of relate to this, and then we'll have some problems that kind of pull out some of these ideas and some of the ideas of magnetic fields coming up. Enjoy!